Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Utron logical interfaces. This topic is presented the subject wireless networks. Utron logical interfaces. The layers and planes of Utron are logically independent of each other. The protocol structure of Utron consists of two horizontal layers. They are radio network layer RNL. Its functions are visible. Then transport network layer TNL. This transport network layer deals with transport technology. Let us discuss these layers in detail in the further slides. These two layers are logically independent of each other. This makes it possible to change the transport network layer without affecting radio network layer if required. General protocol model for Utron interfaces is shown below. Here is a representation. In this representation, we are having two horizontal layers highlighted. One is a radio network layer highlighted and the another one is a transport network layer highlighted. In this protocol model, we have also have the control plane as well as the user plane of this utron. The control plane is indicated as well as the user plane is also indicated. In between this control plane as well as the user plane, transport network control plane is indicated in this diagram. In the further slides, we will discuss in detail about these control planes, user planes, transport network control plane in detail. radio network layer. The radio network layer is concerned with user data and control information. The representation of the radio network layer is shown below. Transport network layer. Transport network layer is concerned with the transport technologies used for the Utron interfaces. The representation of the transport network layer is shown below. Control plane. Control plane includes the application protocols and the signaling bearers which transport the control information. The representation of the control plane is shown below. The application protocols used at different Utron interfaces are IUCS, that is Radio Access Network Application Protocol, RANAP, IUPS, RANAP, I suffix UB, Node B, Application Protocol, I suffix UR. Radio Network System Application Protocol RNSAP. These are the interfaces, Utron interfaces that is connected to the application protocols. User Plane. The user plane includes the user data between user equipment UE and the network and the data bearers. This is the representation of the user plane. Here we have data streams, data bearers. Transport network control plane. The transport network control plane acts between control plane and the user plane. It carries all control signaling within transport layer. It does not include radio network layer information. This is the representation of the 
transport network control plane. It consists of ALCAP and signaling BRS. The transport network control plane is represented here. The transport network control plane includes the access link control application protocol that is ALCAP. ALCAP is used to set up transport bearers to carry user and control plane information. It is not visible to the radio network layer. In this diagram, the arrow mark indicates the ALCAP. Transport network control plane signaling bearer details. In this diagram, the arrow mark indicates that signaling bearers that are available in the transport network control plane. Transport network control plane makes it possible for application protocol in radio network control plane to be completely independent of the technology selected for data bearer in user plane. Now we see the transport network user plane representation. This is the transport network user plane representation. The transport network user plane contains two kinds of information. One is data bearer in user plane and the other is signaling bearers for application protocols. Now we see IU interface architecture. The IU interface is specified at the boundary between the core network CN and UTRON. It is an open interface that divides the system into radio specific UTRON and CN. IU interface architecture representation is shown below. This is the representation of the IU interface architecture. Here we have two things. One is a no Utron and the another one is a core network. This Utron and core network are logically connected through the IU interface. The Utron portion comprises of node B and RNC that is the radio network controller. The core network portion comprises of CS domain, PS domain and BC domain. These two, Utron and the core network are logically interconnected through the IU interface. This is represented in this diagram. IU interface in the Utron side is terminated and at the core network side it is terminated at UMSC. IU interface can handle switching, routing and service control. IU interface can have two main different instance and one additional instance that is IU CS connect Utron to circuit switched that is CS CN core network and IU CS connect Utron to packet switched that is PS CN and IU BC that is broadcast it can support cell broadcast services and connect Utron to broadcast domain of the core network CN. There are three different control planes available in IU interface such as radio network control plane RNCP, transport network control plane TNCP and user plane UP. The radio network control plane performs following functions. It carries information for the general control of UTRON radio network operations. It carries information for control of Utron in the context of each specific cell. It carries user call control that is CC 
and mobility management mm signaling messages the control plane serves two service domains in the core network such as packet switched domain ps domain and circuit switched domain that is cs domain this is indicated in this diagram circuit switched cs domain the circuit switched domain supports circuit switched services such as voice and fax it can also provide intelligent services such as voicemail and free phone it can connect to psdn slash isdn networks packet switched that is ps domain deals with ps services such as internet access and multimedia services the ps domain connects to ip networks ps protocol architecture and iu interface representation is shown below in this diagram we have seen three different planes they are radio network control plane transport network control plane and user plane these are indicated in this diagram ps protocol architecture on iu interface is represented here in this diagram we are having radio network control plane transport network control plane user plane in the further classes we'll discuss about this ps protocol architecture as well as cs protocol architecture in details thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means you can share this video to your friends